As farmers and winemakers, we work very hard to grow the best quality fruit possible to make the best wines possible. The real polished part of winemaking is letting that wine age gracefully so those flavors can be preserved and brought to your home and to enjoy in the glass. The greatest issues we face as winemakers is that our optimal storage conditions for our wines are also optimal growth conditions for mold and bacteria. Mold is really bad in a barrel room or in a cellar because it has an odor to it. And the wines are a living, breathing thing. And actually, they pick up the characters of where they're living. The wines can absorb that aroma, and it's just not a healthy environment to work in. My father and I built this barrel room underground. The challenge is we've got some stagnant air which can cause mold growth. Who knew that our solution would be not underground, but up in the sky? In order to carry astronauts to Mars for deep space exploration, you have to be able to grow your food stores. You don't have enough space and capacity to carry them with you. So NASA began experimenting with growing crops in space. What they found is that in the growing chambers on the International Space Station, the crops they were growing were emitting a naturally occurring hormone called ethylene. It's a gas, and ethylene is the reason that fruits and vegetables ripen. But the problem was in space, we're going to have a very confined environment, so the ethylene concentration can build up, especially in a plant growth chamber. It basically uh, destroys the plant. And so there was a need to grow plants in space, and we were good at growing plants here at the University of Wisconsin. And so NASA came to us and, and said, we've got a problem. I think you've got a solution. Can you help us? Through the University of Wisconsin Advanced Astroculture Program, they developed an ethylene removal system that was successfully tested on a number of missions on the International Space Station. So the ethylene removal system that was developed draws air through a reaction chamber. The air is passed across a catalyst bed, and that catalyst has the effect of removing anything organic from the air. That includes mycotoxins, bacteria, viruses, and even mold. It showed us that with the right technology, we can overcome the challenges of growing plants in space and enable future space explorers to grow their own food as they continue to explore the solar system. The International Space Station program not only supports the technology that allowed us to get rid of ethylene in the space station astroculture program, but it, it, it also provides a, a great variety of technologies to exist that otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Realizing that this technology could have tremendous benefits here on Earth, we developed the Aeroside air purification systems initially used in the perishables world for prolonging the shelf life of fruits and vegetables. Not long after that, we realized because of the, the effects the technology has on mold, that the wine industry was a perfect complement for the technology. This technology has been a real boon to us. It helps me sleep better at night. But as you can see around the cellar, there's not a lot of mold. Within 24 hours, the amount of airborne mold spores were dramatically reduced. Within two weeks, about 99.9% .9 of the mold had vanished on the walls. It solves problems before they occur. The room smelled fresher. It actually enhances your storage conditions for you to even make better wine. It's really amazing when you think about all the innovations that are going on up in space, how they can come into a place as unexpected as a winery which translates into benefits on your dinner table.